So as you can see, we tried to make sure we pushed all the contents into an area just to make sure that when the contents adjuster comes, they can see what actually is of value. We still have to finish the kitchen, but we move through to the dining room. Got it completely walkthrough worthy. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Good morning, Spalding Decon. This is Ben Smith in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is day two of the horde slash fire horde. Um, so we're going to walk through this morning, obviously into the living room. The gentleman are already getting started, but uh, we'll focus on getting the rest of the trash out of this area. The master bathroom is cool and horrendous, but uh, we'll be safe. We'll remove all the trash from in there. And then we'll call this uh, even for phase one. And then once the inspector is able to do what they need to do, we'll come back in here and clean the rest of it. Obviously with fire damage, uh, you have the fire, you have the firefighters come in and they spray either chemical or water on it. Uh, but as you can see here, soot covers from ceiling to floor, whatever you have, it's gonna cover. And then obviously the uh, smoke damage, whenever you're looking at soot, uh, if you take your hand and rub on it, you can see it's got a nice layer of soot on it and that covers everything so uh, at some point we'll actually come back we'll clean that as well and remediate that to make sure we get not only the the soot damage but we'll get the odor smell out as well uh, for that build back phase of this uh, this project do you want to be a crime scene cleaner just like us? Well, now you can. Spalling Decon is currently opening up enrollment to our biobasic courses on thinkific.com. Click the link in our bio and head on over to thinkific slash spaldingdecon.com and use promo code CLEAN for 10% off your order. Now back to the video. Best if used by 2024? What does that even mean? Thank you. 
You want some potato vodka? <laughs> Mixed fruit hard candy drops. Yeah. A twenty dollar scratch off ticket. <laughs> Never opened. Set that on the porch. This one's best if used by 2022, though. I don't know. A bed? Like a dog bed? Or a cat bed? It's gross. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This is trash, is what it is. I really don't know what that is. Oh. What, what is that? Really, this room is a lot of trash. <laughs> this food debris, canned food. It was a lot higher than this, and then after the the homeowner client walked on it, just compacted it down and basically made it like cement. Fire water came through here, made it even worse. Buried underneath this stuff over here. Is is what used to be a nice old wooden chair at some point probably considered an antique right now and at one point in time was a very nice piece of furniture and throughout the years of being in the hoard the furniture just tends to deteriorate it gets all the food the trash stuck on it i mean it gets infested with the bugs <laughs> So this is the, one of the closet doors in the master bedroom. Obviously you can see all the set and all that stuff that uh, collected there. Just amazing if you flip it around. You can see it's not quite as damaged, but uh, yeah, that smoke and all that stuff, you get in there, you breathe it in. It's not good for your lungs. And the longer it sits, the harder it is to clean up. Uh, but we have some different solutions to clean it, remove that odor and smell. But in this case, we're just throwing it out. <laughs> well, it's a little ironic that we found a smoke detector. It's a little late for the party. This is why you need them though. Mm. They're nice decanter.
Looks like a little butcher block. Here about half the room is pretty bad, but then from the second half back, it's really not that much trash. There's a desk and some some other office stuff, but it's really not that bad. Lesson oh. number one: when you go to lunch, don't go to lunch. <laughs> when you come back, don't park in the mud either. <laughs> This is a uh, unique aspect of our business. TJ is now removing the mud behind the tire to see if we can get this unstuck. Serve chilled, it feels cold. Oh my god, 2013. What is that? Hazelnut from 2014. This is it now. This is what it used to be. I'm gonna throw it in my dumpster. Uh, Chris. Created from the original United States Post Office lock boxes. Oh. I mean, I've seen worse. It's just, you know, the fire damage and the smoke just makes it that much worse.
We're gonna open the dishwasher. Some Campbell's chunky soup. It's an egg. There it was. So we're gonna open the fridge. We have not opened it yet, so it should be pretty interesting what's inside. Oh yeah. The owner would be proud. Got some eggs here and the eggs are going very high right now, so I think I'm gonna hang on to these. Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. We'll clean everything out of it, put it in the dumpster, and then um, the people we get our dumpsters for, they'll they'll take care of the refrigerator for us. We just have to make sure that it's cleaned out so they can dispose of it properly. Yeah, so we're gonna go upstairs and just walk through and just uh, get an eye on how the upstairs looks right now. Uh, so obviously definitely some smoke damage up top. Uh, you can tell the firefighters ripped into anything that was uh, around electrical, make sure they put out anything. Obviously you can see the return, definitely had some fire coming out. Got an attic space up here. Uh, surprisingly enough, you're not seeing a lot of damage from the fire right up here. This is all soot on the walls. And as you can see, she obviously had uh, a lot of her cats were allowed to come up here. There's a lot of uh, cans of cat food, as well as litter boxes, completely full of stuff. It looks like a guest bedroom that, uh, I don't know if somebody stayed in here before, but some of this furniture is actually rather antique furniture that she's collected over the years. Uh, so we'll go to this next room. So this room in here, uh, almost the same situation. Yeah, there's a little bit more stuff, but it's fairly organized. It's uh, it's not what you would consider a bad hoard by any means. Um, 
but you can tell that she probably just from a health perspective didn't make it upstairs very often in the last little while so a lot of this stuff looks like it's probably been sitting for years same situation a lot of boxed up stuff that probably has been sitting here for a number of years uh, most of it actually don't look to be impacted in a bad way uh, so we'll let the insurance adjuster do their job and uh, decide what they want to do with it and then we'll talk with the homeowner and see if uh, they're wanting to keep it or get rid of it so So obviously entryway is completely clear. Dining room, we've moved a couple more pieces of furniture in there, just trying to safe keep it for the adjuster. And then, hey, you can actually walk into the living room. This is about two foot worth of stuff throughout the entirety of the living room. Several big pieces of furniture. Hey, we can do uh, aerobics classes if that's what we choose to do. Uh, a couple pieces of furniture that we'll keep in there just for the insurance adjuster. Um, but we boarded back up after we're done for the day. Obviously spot on Decon, North Carolina. Uh, you can find us through social media. You can find us through our actual website, www.spaldingdecon.com. And then my email is bsmith at spaldingdecon.com. Feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.